Hello everybody, Steffi here from The Makers. Welcome to our live stream tonight. If you're watching this live indeed on Facebook on the um, 13th of June, 2023. And uh, tonight we're going to make one of these beauties, the um, Seashell Fairy. Um, our fairy box this month does actually has got um, has got you making two and um, they they are um, they look a little bit like a mermaid I give you that but they do come with lots of lovely seashell decorations I'll show you in a minute what's inside the box so um, you know exactly what you're getting when you get our fairy box remember the fairy box is one of the subscriptions that we're going to um, pause as of July there will be no other fairy box after June 2023 for now and um, and so if you are a subscriber, don't worry, we will not charge you. We will pause the subscription from our end and um, and we'll give you absolute uh, plenty of time uh, when new things are starting. Um, um, and I cannot talk about it yet. So it's very annoying because I want to talk about it, but you're just going to have to wait a little bit longer and anticipate. Just be surprised. So um, here we go. This is what's inside the box. So because it makes two, you have two wires, you've got plenty of decorations here, little resin decorations there. They're actually, they're, they're beads, so you can string them up and your instructions. And uh, I will go a little bit more into t detail um, what is what on here when I'm starting to make the fairy. But let's just see who's actually here to watch tonight, because that's always the exciting bit, is to uh, join in in the chit chat here at um, on Facebook. If you're watching this anytime later on YouTube, then you might not uh, might not know, um, well, you won't know what the comments were, but I read them out and then you can all um, retrace it with me anytime in the future. And I will, as always, link all the products at the very end of um, of this live stream onto the uh, conversation on Facebook. So hopefully you'll um, see it all there. So let's have a look. We've got Terry there. Hello, Terry. Um, Michael. Hello, Michael. Uh, Carol is there. And uh, Colette. Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Um, Rosemary. Hi, Rosemary. So excited for the retreat. Um, show you the bear in a minute. Sherry is here, Laura is here, Dawn, Jane is here, Julie and um, Rose, Lily, another, no, no, that's the same Jane. I um, uh, said that one already. Sam is here. Oh, hi Sam. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're well. Uh, will we see you at the NEC next week? That's the big question. In fact, we're going this week to the BBC Gardeners World. So if you are up there and you want to come and say hello to us, we're in the um, artisan um, section in, in the inside, sadly inside with this lovely weather. But um, I'm sure that uh, you all need to come in and get cooled down for a bit. So you come and see us if you are going. Um, Katie is there from sunny Western Supermare. Yes, but is there is the sea in? Is it Western Supermare or is it Western Supermud? That's what we want to know. Um, what else have we got there? Oh, so many people. I am um, looking forward to seeing you on Sunday at the NEC, says. Uh, we'll see you on Friday, says Sam. And oh, Julie. Julie is coming to the NEC on um on on oh, I wish these uh, comments these comments wouldn't jump about like this is terrible so we'll well uh, Carol will remember it Carol will be there she'll remember it no doubt right let's get uh, to the um, actions here at hand because we we are making a fairy in case you've forgotten I haven't forgotten and um, so what else oh I was going to show you the bear so the bear this is the bear um, there we go this is the bear uh, for which you will get the instructions at the retreat. Look at his legs. He is just the cutest thing. I'm telling you now, he is absolutely rock solid. And that will be the theme um, on the retreat. There is no fast felting. It will be all about fast, um, not fast, but um, firm felting. That's what it's all about because he has to have really solid arms and legs and a body and a head. Um, because he's fully posable so and there's no wire in there so we need to create that strength entirely through um, the felting process but um, I can't wait to see your bears come to life and um, 
and 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 have a big picnic with them um it's gonna be so exciting let's hope let's cross our fingers that the weather will uh, be nice in july as well and we still got two spaces now one of the things that seems to be happening uh, bizarrely is that more and more people are saying I know I booked a room, but I'd much rather go in a tent. Um, and that's fine, you can do that still. We have actually got so many tents. Um, we've probably got more tents than rooms, actually. So I sleep anytime in a bell tent, I'm telling you this now. So yeah, here we go. There is the bear, I'm absolutely loving him. He is just, he is just adorable. Oh, look, he's kissing me. Oh, I know, sweetie pie. I can keep you. Yeah, the others I have to give back, but I can keep you. All right, you're not going anywhere, you little one, because I love you. <laughs> He's lovely. It's it's just as well I'm not making a bear because I've already got one. Yay! I'm loving him. I mean, Colette is just what is she like? Bears and she's off. I mean, not just bears, other things as well, but bears is definitely her speciality. And you've got her with us. We've got her with us for the whole weekend on the 21st to the 23rd of July. So if you fancy making something like this, it is suitable for beginners. We make sure that we don't leave you behind. And um, and yes, you will also take a bear home, a definitely recognizable bear. We've never failed anybody on that. So it won't, it won't, we're not gonna make that the first time. Okay, back to the fairy. So I've got um, two wires here. Now, um, because one fairy is gonna be this sort of lovely um, turquoisey blue, and the other fairy will be, um, almost like a, a coral color but we're going to mix a little bit of this lovely pearl fiber into there would you believe it that they now make fiber out of actual pearls so um that is just amazing it's a very lustrous it's a bit of a squeaky it squeaks a bit um do you know what i mean when you when you um squish it it makes a bit of a squeaky noise but uh, it is a it is made from um from pearls so you know it's natural and then there are some beautiful hand dyed tea water curls in there now you have um a whole color range and you're gonna have to split these in half and tease them out to make them nice and um voluptuous which um, obviously you can do so you will have to cut them with a scissors so that's one thing that you need and then you have um, here in the middle the seashell shimmer which is a little bit shimmery already as the name says because it's got a tiny little bit of um, of a, a, a sparkly fiber uh, carded into it so we love that but that is definitely the one we need to split in half because we need one for each one half for each fairy I'm only going to make one fairy and, um, and then this one, you will have to split in half as well, but I'm telling you now, you have way more than what you need. So let's just split it in half, watch this. Oh, I love this, look. Oh, so nice, you've got to be silent to do this. So just as a tip, it, the harder, you, the more you hold on to, the less it will want to come apart. So you've got to be literally counterintuitively, you have got to pull, but not pull hold onto it tight and then it will just separate where it wants to separate look at that so nice could do this all evening this is one of those things that you can watch if you need to relax um so which which color fairy shall we make oh i think i'm gonna go for this one because then i can show you how this wool can turn into this wool so let's do that because this is already quite um colorful here so we're gonna put that to one side um, I'm going to snip these curls into half um, if if you have to pull them to half them then you might as well snip them but this one does actually come apart so I'm going to use I'm going to use this one these colors for that and um, the other one goes over there obviously I only need one wire now in our fairy box you also get your um, a felting mats so there's two of them you take the label off and you use them on top of each other and you also get your felting needle so it's um it's all in that box i'm going to use my own tools which are at the ready ready in my little magnetic needle case here and um and all these lovely decorations i'm not going to put them on you can decide what you want to do with yours but what i am going to do today is i'm going to use something that is not in the kit and that you don't necessarily need but it does help if you've got it and that is um that is one of these i call them donuts but they're not really donuts don't eat them these are uh, these are the, this is the soft version of our woolly wax 
and um, I've actually been playing quite a bit with it but I want to play with a wool with a soft woolly um, wax as well so I'm going to use the natural one because I don't need any of the colors on the outer but I'm going to use it to prepare my wire um, so that the wool doesn't slip around and let's see how that works so before you start split all of the seashell shimmer wool and uh, the white pearl fiber top in half we've done that and um, then you're going to take a thin strand of the seashell shimmer so when we say a strand um, you see that the wool has a natural uh, fiber it's very e obviously spotted you can spot that very easily here because it's like a long um, a long strand of wool but it also has got it here so when you start teasing the wool apart you can see whether you're using when whether you're pulling it lengthways or widthways and if you're pulling it wet, um, lengthways you should be able to get a nice thin strand of it it never looks as neat as the tops but it's absolutely brilliant for um, for um, 3d needle felting I also need to cut 12 centimeters off for um, the arms which I'm going to set aside now all of our instructions as you well know by now has got um, a, a centimeter measure here on the left hand side of every single page and I'm going to be naughty and I'm going to use scissors I could use pliers but I'm going to use scissors there so that's going to be for the arms my 12 centimeter I'm going to put that on my magnetic needle case because it actually sticks to it so I know exactly where it is and then the other end um, I'm going to use to start making the head. Now this is where the interesting bit comes into. So if you have um, the woolly wax, which is why we've used this shape, so you can poke the wire that you need to cover with the woolly wax inside the inner of, um, of, of that ring. Just get it covered up. Yeah, you can sort of feel it that it's sticky. It is actually, it uh, responds well to room temperature and to warm hands. So that is now um, ready for the for the wool to be wrapped on around, and it is actually I can I can tell the difference already. You might not be able to see it, but the wool does want to stick on there. Now the the soft woolly wax, which is the donut shape, is is less sticky, less sticky than the um, the firmer star shape. So if you like it really sticky, I'm telling you now it's very sticky, then do go for the firmer version, which will also make the, um, the, the wire tacky, so you can the wool will grip into it, but um, it makes it a lot more tacky than the soft one. It's plenty for me here. Now I'm gonna bend the end over so that traps the wool, and now I'm going to build up a nice round shape for the head here. Notice that my hand stays quite high up at the wire because it stops the wire um, from getting covered with wool along the wire. I want to build a head, a round head shape here, so I don't want to um, get that um, um, covered. Now, oh, I didn't, oh, well, I'm going to have to use this felting mat. I didn't clean it up earlier, but um, this is the felting mat I'm going to use. And in your uh, fairy kit, you will get. Um, a medium needle so I've got my own medium needle here and you're just going to start felting that wool down whilst it's on the wire now when you've got very little wool on there make sure that you don't step into the wire or be ready to retract quickly um, and I always start by stabbing into the base because that pushes the wool up it's not going to slip off because you've trapped the wool in there and then you're just going to take a few more um, wispy strands here, well, one, one strand, and build up the head a little bit faster this time. Now the wool will stick to itself, so you don't need to prepare anything for that. And then felt it down again. It's always really good to work in small quantities, felt it down, add more. Um, small quantities, felt it down, add more. It saves you time. Even you might think, oh, if I could just pile it on, it does not work. Um, wool with a, a fine needle like this, you can best work in small um, steps, especially with fairies where you need nimble fingers and you want delicate features. So um, it, it definitely works best if you don't put too much on there to start with. So I'm going to just add a little bit more wool, as I've done, 
and the head is actually quite small in comparison to what our normal fairies are. So this one is about two centimeters in diameter. So felt it down nice and firmly because you want to felt on some ice onto there later, unless you like your fairies without faces. That's absolutely fine. Lots of people um, actually keep them completely, um, um, what's the word, faceless, <laughs> faceless. That doesn't, that doesn't sound like a nice word without a face without features featureless and um, just a little bit more and then I'm going to check the size against um, the tape measure so I'd, I you probably heard me talk lots about the, our um, felt tool pouches um, which I'm still absolutely loving especially if you've got plans to go on holiday just grab one of those felt tool pouches everything's in there you know what it's like you go, you go away and you think oh no I didn't bring my tape measure or I didn't bring my scissors or oh, I meant to pack those needles but I forgot to pack them well I'm telling you now you might forget your scissors but you're absolutely doing no needle felting if you haven't got any needles with you um, so I think the felt the, the felt pouch that we've introduced to you and I, I've shown you different colors but I'll show you the the green one it's one of it's actually my favorite everything in there is what you need to get your project made up while you're on holiday we've got uh, the earth friendly felting mud in there you get um, a set of needles fine medium and coarse you get um, your needle case there magnetic needle case you get um, a tape measure I'll show you that in a minute you get your mini tape measure now this is what made me think about using that because that's just five centimeters now when you're working with fairies that's off all all the measurements you need you have a very handy multi-tool here which is a set of pliers it also has a screwdriver and a knife on there just in case uh, you need it for um, other bits and pieces and then you've got your mini um, scissors set now I'm using these all the time now I'm really loving these they are actually really good little scissors um, and in fact they're not even my, on my work desk here because I've been using them earlier so and it comes in this very um, solid totally sturdy little felt pouch that keeps everything completely safe nothing falls out and um, it's compact and just fits into a tiny little space and then as you know the wool is oh oh no is that a spider oh yuck okay going sorry I picked up a um, it was a dead spider I may add <laughs> and I had a premonition this would happen today you know it's really weird I thought what would I do if I'm sitting here and a spider crawls up me but dead spiders I don't like them either anyway where were we oh yes the head so there's the head at the moment I need to felt that down a little bit more oh it's definitely spider time I, I love all animals I really dearly 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 do but spiders I just it's just one of those uh, things that I can't quite cut, get to grips with right I'm going to just measure that head now that's bang on two centimeters how is that for um, for getting that done I'm just going to have a quick look at um, the chat so that I don't miss anything um, so what have we got we have got oh that's I'm going to start at the end which is never a good idea um, I'm naughty cutting the wire I have to chuckle every time you use your scissors I use mine too most of the time I do have wire cutters but the scissors are always handy and to be honest sometimes it, it, they work better with wire and just have wire scissors and have fabric scissors and have paper scissors it's as simple as that mine will be faceless I've tried but never happy with a face I saw your beautiful seashell fairy well one of them and you've done amazingly well Lona. really beautiful um, it, by the way if you're wondering where the heck did you see that I saw that and on every one maker which is our Facebook group which you can join just answer three questions for us please do that also if you're inviting people please let them know that you're inviting them and they must also answer those three questions and um, and I saw also Tina she I think she has been watching in the past but she's not here tonight she's done some amazing amazing variation on on the seashell fairy definitely worth watching um, or looking out for if you go onto our everyone and maker Facebook page right going back to um, the um, fairy now so I've got I've done the head and I'm gonna put this to one side now okay so now I'm gonna speed up the work a little bit with the hands and the arms it's the same principle except you're not building bulk but I am preparing my wire 
with a little bit of this woolly wax, <clears throat> a little bit more of the seashell shimmer. Start wrapping exactly how you did with the head, but this time you're going to bend the wire over much sooner, trap the wool as you did before, and make dainty little hands. And now you can go up the wire. I've turned this round all the way and you don't need to leave a gap in the middle. So usually with our fairies um, you only go halfway but with this one you go all the way. All the way, all the way, all the way. Gosh look at that thin arm. I might have to fatten that up a little bit. That looks frightfully thin. So, um, And you can then also at the other end add a bit more of the woolly wax. It's absolutely brilliant this stuff. Um, we also use it to smooth over wool, so if you've got fuzzy looking shapes and you don't want them to be fuzzy. So I'm just going to bend the wire over for the hand at that end and just continue wrapping the wool so I can start again. Now I've ended up at this end but I started at this end so I'm going to continue um, felt, uh, wrapping at this end again so that the wool goes in the same direction. That's always a good tip, otherwise you unwind what's underneath. So I'm going to just build um, the arms up a little bit, just getting the wool established. Once I've done that, I turn the whole thing round and then twist the wire and let the wool run through my fingers here. Um, I've got a lot of control over that wool because I can sort of feed it um, as it slides through my fingers and make sure that it's coming out um, thicker or thinner. So if you've got extra wool just tease it off and let the wool grip into itself. So there's my set of arms and now I've got to join these two together. So because we've got this really long wire here which we're actually going to keep, I'm not going to uh, get rid of that, this wire will now be wrapped around the arms. You have to make sure that you've got the arms in the center so um, and you're going round twice. So that will um, almost sort of put a V shape onto the arms with the wire wrapped around it like that. And now you're going to find the center, the middle part of the wire. So if, if you, you can do it by eye, just bend the wire, wire up, sneeze alert. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so bend in that bend, we're going to now add the seashell shimmer wool. So you can unbend it again and wrap a layer around there. It doesn't matter if it's not very neat. And then bend the wool up so that the end comes just out where the arms are. Bend the arms up. And now you're going to wrap the whole length up. So you've in effect doubled up the wire. Um, so this makes the body poseable. So you, you can actually um, move your fairy, I'll show you, I'll just get rid of that. So the body is inside here, which means she can have this sort of um, shape that, um, that, that you can give her by, by, by moving the body. So she can have that sort of s snake shape. And um, then you're just going to build more layers all the way up because you're going to have to build more layers right up at the top. So bend the arms out of the way and just work your way up, all the way up, 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 until you get to the place under the arms. So what I would like to know is, um, this is sort of how how much of a water person are you? Um, you see, I'm, I'm not terribly much of a water person. At at this in this hot weather that we've got currently I would love to go and cool down in the water but I I just I find it really how can I say um, a bit spooky not knowing if you can't see down to the ground what's underneath me and what the deepest depth of the ocean I that's not I, I find that really spooky so um, how do you feel about this do you love the ocean or are you somebody who needs to have firm ground under their feet. I am I know what I am. I'm definitely a earth person. Feet on the ground and um, yeah, that, that's definitely me. But what are you? And whilst you're thinking about this, 
you can see I've built it pretty even now but now I'm going to give it a little bit more bulk here at the top always I, I haven't felt it this yet I'm going to felt this down in a minute but you're building this up to about one and a half centimeter centimeters and you're gonna have to go around the shoulders as well so um, do that too I'm gonna felt this down a little bit first with the medium felting needle so be mindful that there's um, wire inside so the whole shape of the fairy head body and arms at the moment has been covered with exactly the same wool with a seashell fairy a seashell shimmer and um, it's a lot of a lot of um, ocean wool in here <laughs> seashell shimmer pearl fiber and we're making a seashell fairy um, so I think we're all definitely oceaned out by the end of this um, this uh, uh, little fairy but of course our theme in June is actually oceans because our surprise box is called ocean and then of course we've also got this little fella want to say hello hello well this is our this is our turtle from the um, makers uh, box so there he or she is um, I'm loving her too or him I don't know are you a him or her or don't you know I don't, can't help you with that um, I'm not about to find out I don't know how to find out with a, t a turtle anyway so but anyway here you go um, lovely project really really satisfying to make it's all made from wool no wire and a nice and solid needle felting so if you're coming to our summer retreat and you you're doing the um, the turtle then you've got practice in felting um, wool down quite solidly because that neck needs to hold its its own um, or needs to hold the head up um, and so it's nicely and firmly felted it's really lovely to um, to not always use wire actually and just go with wool so these boxes are still up for grabs it's just for um, this month June the makers box will continue to be um, a box a subscription box and in July we're, we're doing a koala bear uh, the surprise box we are going to um, stop we have no plans for the future at the moment whereas with the fairy box we do with the surprise box we don't however we are bringing out a new subscription membership which I'm dying to tell you more about um, but it will all become really clear when when it's all written out on, on on our website and you're able to join us there and we'll send details out on social media in our newsletter so watch out for that and um, hopefully you'll be able to um, to join us I think it's gonna be really exciting um, it's I think the essence is probably about building more of a makers family bringing us all a bit closer together and sharing um, sharing with you even more things um, than we already do. Um, oh, Lorna said, oh no, this is a spider story. Should I read this? Is this going to give me... Um, oh my goodness, you're talking about spiders now, aren't you? Oh, there are sea spiders as well. It's like a double fear. Oh my goodness. So, Dawn says, I'm a water person, but even though I live in Cornwall, nearest beach, three miles, I don't get... To go there very often that's always the thing if you have things on your doorstep you never go um, and it seems to be sort of that we always want to venture out <laughs> it's quite funny my favorite Disney film growing up was the Little Mermaid so I can't wait to make a friend for Ariel oh that's so nice I love swimming in the sea once you get over the shock of the cold yes that's true videos taken underneath always seem spooky Oh yes, definitely. This is underneath in the water, obviously. Hello, Laura. I did love, 100% loved, your very uh, fashionable and fancy new um, um, glass frame. That was such a genius idea. I, I totally loved that one. Um, oh yes, if, no, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Laura's glasses broke and she had some extra strong pipe cleaners from us and she just mended one of these um, arms of, on her glasses. Um, Diane says, honestly, if I was by myself, I would have had to sit in the other room for the rest of the day. I'm petrified of spiders. Yes, um, yes, I totally get that. Um, I'm the same. Uh, but it was a dead one, if I may just add. Um, I, I rolled the roller blind. Ah, it always jumps. I wanted to read that. And there was another um, 
uh, where is it gone? St the link, uh, the story. Oh, it's so naughty, Facebook does this. Um, ah, I love the oceans, but I don't go too deep. This also scares me. I wouldn't go on a cruise either because the oceans are so vast and deep, absolutely. Um, I can't swim. Oh no, says Sherry. I like to get about ankle deep in the ocean, but I hold on to my husband's hand because the waves coming in and out makes me a little dizzy. It can be quite disorienting, actually. Um, oh, Katrina says my turtle arrived yesterday. What? The ready-made turtle? Lucky you. Um, I've made a start on the turtle's head, says Lorna. Nice. Um, I'll miss my surprise box, but looking forward to something new. Thank you, Lorna. I know you miss it. Um, we will definitely keep you in um, plentiful supplies. Don't worry about it. I still don't know what these spider stories are, but maybe Facebook knows I shouldn't read them. So um, Ellie says, oh, hello, Ellie. My late cousin lived by the sea. My sister and I visited one year and we could say um, night to the sea. One evening, my sis, oh, my sis went in it, in, in her nighty and me in jeans and t-shirt. Well, that was an impromptu um, um, night nighttime splash, I would have, I would say. Uh, I, oh no, so I read that. Okay, I, I have to give up on the spider stories. Um, oh, what a shame. Uh, because I can't find them on the, on, the, on the feed, on the chat. Right, let's go. Um, so you've seen the bear, you've seen the turtle. What have you not seen? Um, you know the Tatty Teddy, oh yes, this is the other thing. Tatty Teddy, as of today, is now um, ready to order and you get it straight away. So all of the pre-orders, you're getting it early. How about that? Yes, I had this amazing message today from one of my colleagues and she said, when do you want these Tatty Teddies to go out? I said, well, we said end, to mid, uh, end June to mid July. She said, well, we can send them now. I'm like, wow, send. So they're on their way as of tomorrow and uh, I can't wait for you to uh, show us um, your Tatty Teddy. It is again, it's a it's a project entirely made from wool, totally manageable. And um, yeah, it's just one of these really lovely projects. I think it's one of those heartwarming, um, soul feeding, beautiful makes. Right. Let's uh, go back to the um, to the fairy. Um, so I've got um, her half dressed now. Now I'm going to use this wool and I've got to split off a couple of strands and I, I and these are because I need to tie um I need to tie parts of her um once she's dressed. And um and then I'm going to um I'm going to tease off another bit and I'm going to wrap her upper body in it. So just going around her upper body so that she so that the seashell shimmer is now hidden underneath and if you make it nice and thin you can go over the shoulder like this keep it flat like a ribbon remember that and round the other side so now you've definitely got her um, her neck and her shoulders covered and then felt that down so we're keeping her arms bare you, can't, you could cover them if you wanted to, but we're keeping her arms bare with a seashell shimmer. And we're just colouring in her upper body now in that lovely coral coloured orange. And I just felt it down a little bit. There we go. Oh, bending her arm out of. Um, it's a thinner wire than what we usually use, so it's a lot more pliable but I'm actually quite enjoying it because you can um, you can do finer features with that. This is the paper covered wire. There. I'm just going to have to tighten that arm up again. If you have, so this is another good one, right? So what you saw me do then is that the arm had come a bit loose. It unwound itself a bit. So if you know, you work out which way you need to twist the arm. Now, if you want to, um, make that less likely to happen again. Just scrape off a little bit of the beeswax balm, which used to be the beeswax balm, it's now the woolly wax, but it's a different recipe. I must remember to uh, not use the old phrasing because it's a different product. And just wrap it around the arms a little bit and it really, really does um, tighten the wool down and leaves it 
nice and tight. So I'm going to do that on the other one as I've done one. So just put it into your fingers so that it, it it's almost sort of like a um, and work, work out first of all which way you need to turn the wool and just let the woolly wax go and cover the wool underneath and that will help it to just um, keep the wool in place and defuzz it a bit so you've got a much less fuzzy um, appearance. Right. Now I've got to um, go to the next page here and um, these are the two strands I need in a minute. Now we're going to have to mix um, this wool with the uh, pearl fiber. Okay, so this is a really long strand, so you could shorten them. Um, in fact, best shorten it. And some strands of the white here, and now you can uh, mix it in two ways. So if they, and at the moment they're on top of each other, you can split them sideways. So split them overlay, split, overlay, so you're actually making it um, already a different um, color, right? That's one way of how you can do it. Now you can also mix it by teasing it apart length way and that's quite good because we want it to be quite long. So you're mixing it and, and mixing it in even more thoroughly that way. So two ways of mixing this, you can do do both and then use the other one with a little bit, I've split it in half, you can use just one um, and then split it in half after. So I mix it by doing this, always trying to keep the fibers running in the same direction. So two ways of mixing the wool tops and if you are happy with it being more stripy then leave it or get it more mixed in by teasing it along the length and overlaying it again. So two ways of doing this and then you will need two um, strands. You can lengthen them by just gently teasing them because you need two strands about the same length and it needs to be definitely longer than the fairy. So I've got two strands here now and now I'm going to turn each um, of these strands into a part of the skirt. Now one will be uh, covering the front and one will be covering the back but I'm folding the top over and felting this part here that I've folded. That part is now going to be felted onto the um, upper body of the fairy so just below her arms. You do need to make sure that you catch all the fibers because it's a folded over top and sometimes you've got some fibers es escaping so bend her arms out of the way that's always the best and go slightly further than around the sides because we want there to be a nice even cover from front all the way around to the back so that's one part of the dress or the skirt added so she's got like a floaty skirt here now and now you're going to do the same on the back or front I haven't decided that yet just put it onto her like that, fold it the, with a folded top under and then um, felt it down again making sure you catch all of the fibers at the top because they'd be in a loop because you folded it. So make sure you catch all of them so you don't have parts of the, um, the skirt coming off and go further than the sides so the two will overlap each other and just felt it down. So now you have made a very um, long dress here on, on the fairy and you need to decide what is the front and the back in a minute. Before you do that you actually use one of these strands and give her a bit of a um, like a, a, a belt I suppose so you can just um, tie this. This will um, cover up the join that you've just created by um, felting onto it put a knot on there. You could use the pearl fiber, I've got plenty of that if you wanted a contrasting color and um, put, put a knot in there and then you can let the rest of the wool sort of disappear into it. You can also felt it down a little bit, make sure it stays in that place. There. And then the second strand that you've um, split off earlier, you're going to 
have to sort of feel where the inside is. And where the inside ends, which is here, I can feel that, that is where you're going to tie it. Um, so you need to tie, it's almost sort of, you imagine it's tying, it's like the fish tail that will stick out at the, at the, at the bottom of that. So tie that too. I've gone round it twice. and pull it tight, Sit, sitting just at the very end of that, um, of the end of that um, sort of covered wire. And then you can also um, let the wool disappear into the rest. And then you're going to split the ends and turn them into the um, fishtail ends like this and now you can bend this part here is at the moment rigid but you can bend it because you've got that um, covered wire inside so you can have your seashell fairy she can sit um, she can have sort of a curvy shape whichever way you want to and um, that's the beauty of having that wire inside um, so you can decide that later for now we need to give her eyes and the mouth now for the eyes you need to take a tiny bit of your uh, contrasting colors or um, whichever blue you prefer tiny 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 tinsy tiny amounts so um, just twist it between your fingers and then add a little uh, blue spot um, on the center line of the head so imagine it um, there's a line from ear to ear on that center line so in the middle of the head you're going to add a tiny little eye now I know people use um, fine liners to make features on fairies faces you can do that too if you prefer we've also had fairies in the past where we've got tiny little glue in eyes going in that's fine too I'm using the wool felt it down make sure they're both the same and then you use um, now I've used up all my orange and that happened to me when I was um, actually doing it but you can always just take off the tiniest wisp from her um, from her little fins there or fishtail or what you want it that's even too much and just add a tiny little mouth in into the face here as well so there tiny little mouth there so she's got she's got her eyes and her mouth now and um, all I need to do now is I need to do the hair now I decided to go with this hair here and um, the, you want you want the curls to hang free but at the moment if you just put that on her you wouldn't have enough so what you need to do is you need to plan um, how you're going to split the curls up so this is plenty enough this length is plenty enough for um, to fasten to the head and still hang down so I'm going to cut um, the strands all of those strands to that length roughly now to make the curls more voluptuous, you're going to have to tease them out sideways. So you're pulling them open, you're opening them up basically and, um, and getting them nice and, and full. You, so you can still see the curls, you're not pulling the curl out, you're just opening them up to the side. That also, you do that at the top too because it felts on a lot easier. So what you do with the curls, you start by framing the face. So start just above the middle line on top of the head felt the wool on we do sell these curls by the way on our website as well they're the I think they're the pastel curls hand dyed tea water curls these are by a UK business felt this down onto the head so you've got one side hanging down here and then you're going to do I always frame the head first because then you know at least she looks nice from the front <laughs> and um, and then I'm going to do the other side so I open all the curls up look at that isn't that lovely and get these felted on as well and what often happens is that you 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 have so many curls already there that you can cover start covering the back as well this fairy hasn't got any um, hasn't got any wings because you can't everybody knows you can't don't need wings underwater um, but you do need a fin so she has, instead of wings, she has a fin that gets her to places. So 
So just keep if you if you sort of find it hard to get the wool to stop in, just twizzle it around your needle, wind it up around your needle like you would spaghetti on an, on a fork or on your needle, and um, and then um, stab it down where you've got it caught. And then you've got an I've got more here, so I'm going to split this up. I think it's almost too much, so I'm going to. This is this is what happens when you split the curls. It's best to cut them, so cut them, and then you don't pull the fizz, the fizz, the the curl out. You don't frizz it up, and I think she just needs a little bit here on the back of her head, just to have some curl hanging down here on the back. I felt that down as well. You can have um, more hanging in the face, so if you if you want to just pull them a little bit further into her face, there's plenty of um, curly wool to do all of that, and um, just stab it into place and allow. You don't want to flatten it entirely, so allow it to be quite um, allow there some volume to be, and that's basically your little seashell fairy all done, and she's lovely. So she can hang out um, and sit like this. She can support herself on her arms. Um, she can, yeah, you could, might have to, um, if, if you don't like these strands, you can always shorten them a bit. There. And so they don't ex go further than the, um, the actual two fins there or the fishtail, whatever it's called. And there's your little fairy all sitting nice and cozy on the side of the beach and then you can um, give her the little decorations you can sew them on. I also thought it, she might they might make a really lovely mobile with uh, these little decorations hanging off the mobile as well. So that's basically completes your um, seashell fairy and um, then you can make a second one to go with the first. There you go made from the opposite or the other color that you haven't used yet. So um, that's basically um, everything to do with uh, seashell fairies. Oh, and for once I'm not running over time. Let's just have a quick look what um, is, oh yes, next live stream. So let's have a look at this. So next week um, we are going to do um, something from the surprise box and it will be a narwhal. Um, it won't be that exact color because that color isn't actually in the surprise box, box but it will be uh, that style and make and um, you can make definitely a narwhal with a diff in a different blue from our surprise box. Now I've given away that there's blue in there but the um, the box is called ocean so you probably gathered that there might be ocean colors in there. And then the week after we're going to do uh, the Hessian bunting which is the free tutorial on the back of the newsletter um, this month and I'll show you how to needle felt um, using um, water soluble paper onto a piece of fabric so it's a really good technique to know not just for buntings and flowers but for all kinds of decorations and then would you believe it it's already the makers box unwrapped July the 4th of July so we, we're basically a little bit late but uh, that's how it's worked out because um, it's all it all falls into the wrong weekend oh dear sorry I'm yawning now I just think I need to um, <laughs> I need to go to bed early tonight um, it's gonna be a long day tomorrow packing up uh, loading the van um, going to the NEC setting up it's gonna be warm and um, I will be thinking, oh, I wish I was outside. I, w I thought that all day today, but I never did go outside, not for very long anyway, just for a small, sh short lunch break. So let's just have a quick look again how people are doing. Um, oh, we've had more people join us. Lovely. Um, uh, so excited. My mum got me the subscription box for my birthday and the turtle arrived yesterday. Yay! That's amazing. What a lovely gift to give for. That reminds me, you can actually get all of um, um, the um, all of the makers boxes. We have, so the surprise and the fairy box gift bundle is no longer available because obviously we're not doing them anymore. But the subscription box um, for the makers project, the makers box, the main box as we call it, you can um, purchase it three months, six months, nine months and 12 months in advance and then you just get that um, sent out as and when the boxes are due to come out. So it's always the boxes that are coming up. Oh, 
Claudia came in and she just had a Claudia, Claudia, I don't know, do you pronounce it the German way or the English way? She just uh, popped in to have a, a look. Well, you're very welcome. Um, I will miss the surprise book, says Laura, but yeah, but you will not miss, you'll get extra other things. Um, yes, Lorna, you will have to get some of the wax, definitely. It is very useful. Um, Evening all arrived late, says Gina, as I got carried away looking at my ancestry. Might also get disturbed by my shopping being delivered. Oh, okay. Well, we won't know any of that. Um, but um, interesting stuff, ancestry, I will be honest. Um, I did. I, I spent about two hours um, sometime last week looking at my family tree, which I've looked at so many times, but I still find new things. So it's quite a um, an interesting... It's really... In, 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 um, Oh, and Carol also says ancestry delving is quite addictive. And even though it's all on that family tree, on my family tree, which goes back to 1655, um, I still find new things. I still, I still discover things and and, and people mainly. Um, so yes, Katarina says is the mermaid kit coming back this summer? No, Katarina, it's not coming back. But you can get the instructions and then make your own mermaid with, um, um, yeah, with 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 the ingredients that you need to get. Um, Jennifer says, absolutely love this little one. She's gorgeous. Thank you very much. Um, Colette says, oh no, she also says, no, it's not coming back. Glasses update from Laura. Let's hear it. I found my spare pair of glasses, but I wouldn't have done without my pipe cleaner arms so I could wear the broken pair. This is always the thing because you can't find your glasses unless you wear your glasses. <laughs> It's like, I say this so often because I wear glasses and my children, they, I say, oh, can somebody help me find my glasses? And they said, well, find them yourself. And I'm like, well, I would if I could, but I haven't got my glasses to find my glasses. So you're going to have to help me find looking. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, yes. Anyway, um, I received some new information discs today so that's the course evening oh i see so you get it some stuff delivered okay we're talking about ancestry um my tatty ted is on his way says gina so they've already started posting them out bless them they're very fast my fairies tend to show me if they need faces or not yeah that is true sometimes the faces just don't work uh, terry says does anybody have any idea orders take um, how long orders take to the States? Approximately. I was able to place my first order. Yay, can't wait for the goodies. It just sometimes it's so um, hit or miss. Um, so Sherry, let's see what Sherry says. My fairy box and maker's box shipped out on the 3rd and I received it yesterday in Tennessee. It's really, it so depends on where you are in the US as well. Sometimes it takes a week, sometimes it takes 10 days, sometimes it takes three weeks. Um, oh, Patricia says, thank you for another pleasant evening. Lovely to have you on board, Patricia. And Terry also says, I want to start the main box starting with the koala. Would it make it to the States in time for the video if there's one going live? As it would be fun to felt along. So the makers boxes have no make along, but they have technical tutorials. And the technical tutorials can be watched any time. You get a, a, a link sent and then um, that link shows you parts of the makers make um, saying that there have been makers boxes from the past that we've turned into a tutorial so you never know but the koala is definitely a standalone project where you are doing it and we help you with little technical tutorials of about 10-15 minutes like we did with the turtle so if you don't know this but um, I, t I demoed how to do the eyelids on the turtle and um, how to do the flippers and then how to do the shell. Um, so that's basically how it works with the main boxes. But there's so many changes happening. Oh, it's all, go all good, all good. Um, you hear better with your glasses on, <laughs> says Chloe. Yeah, well, I haven't tried that yet, but I definitely see better if I don't have the radio on and you're trying to find somewhere when you're driving in the car. Does anybody agree with that? If there's a lot of noise, I can't see. So I have to switch the noise off and then I can see where I'm going. And I can, I don't know, it's just really weird. Um, sometimes it takes longer with the Royal Mail issues. We shouldn't have any issues anymore, but you never know. I don't think they're uh, currently striking, but I think they are, they are, they are definitely um, all, all delivery companies 
have got um, always something wrong with them because we did try at some point to change over to another delivery company. I won't I won't say now who that is, but we had to completely abandon that idea because they were actually worse than um, what we were already had. And let's not talk about delivery companies because we could be here all evening sharing some horrific stories and um, that's really not what we are here. So, uh, oh, I like this T T Y V V M. Oh, I know what that means. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, everybody, for um, uh, watching. Um, oh, Diane says I hear better with my glasses on, and um, the video on July the fourth is just the unboxing. That's correct, Katarina. Absolutely, you've got it. So it's just the unboxing, and it will be a very short <laughs> unboxing because it's just the maker's box now. Oh, not for long, not for long. Right. Okay. So I'm going to leave you now and um, hope that you have a, a lovely rest of the week. Um, get in touch if you need um, any help with any of your uh, needle felting projects or have questions. Everyone a maker, that's where you find us. If the first Tatty Teddy is landing on your doorstep, share with us some photos. Post it on your uh, timeline as well and tag um, the um, official me to you. I think that's what their um, what their tag is on Facebook. Official me to you um, for Tati Teddy, and um, we'd love we'd love to see it all. So um, take care, everybody, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.